En Tulum, Tulum, México. En Tulum, México. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to share with you guys my trip to Tulum. It was my very first girls trip and my very first time going to Tulum. And I highly recommend going to Tulum because it's just like, it's different. It's a beach lifestyle. It's like bohemian and just like chill, relaxed music. Like, I have like signs that like going down the road near the beach that say like, stay positive, breathe. Just like inspirational quotes in like random places of the town. It's just like, oh my God, that's so cute. I literally every day I'm like, this is so freaking cute. Like, there's not much of like, a turn up going on um, they do have like certain beach parties at night but still it's not like a crazy like going out we Airbnb it Airbnb I don't even know if that's a word but we rented out an Airbnb in Moon Tulum and the house was so freaking pretty if you're looking to go to Tulum I highly recommend this place 10 minutes away from the beach 10 minutes driving from the beach and like all the fun stuff, the cenotes, the ruins, it's everything is so close to there. Even the grocery store, it was like right around the corner. There's also a small gym, very, very small. There's a treadmill, a spin bike, and a bench with weights. And so my friend and I took advantage of that. She did the treadmill, I did the bike, and that was it. We got a little cardio in for the day. They also have like a community jacuzzi and like hammocks and things like that. So it's a really, really nice place. Our first morning, we woke up very, very early and we went to this place called Jungle Gym. And it's such a cool concept of a gym. Like the machines are like made of like bamboo and like the weights are stone. And it was just such a fun gym outdoors right by the beach. And if you're into working out, you have to go to Jungle Gym. It's $25 for the day and you can use it all day it's like a like a daily pass i brought like so much clothes but i brought more bathing suits than i brought outfits and i ended up wearing like the same three shorts and bathing suits the entire time i was there it was so hot like i've never sweat like this in my entire life like i was dripping sweat but i was in my bathing suit so i was like okay with it one thing that i recommend if you're gonna go to tulum is a buy a lot of mosquito repellent because the mosquitoes there like it doesn't matter what time of day it is they're going to bite you. once you have mosquito repellent on you you're good to go we wanted to go see the mayan uh ruins and so we pulled up to this place and it was like more of like a tour guide situation and they like pulled us over and they sold us this package. It was $40 a person and it, inclu it included free parking, um, beach chairs and umbrellas in this like private area and a free beverage, alcoholic beverage. It was a beer, but you can get like a soda or whatever they had available and a boat ride that you were able to see the ruins from the water instead of being in the actual facility. So that was cool. And then it also included snorkeling. So it really was sold us on it was a snorkeling because we really wanted to snorkel anyway. We ended up doing that, but we found out that we really didn't have to pay for parking. You don't really have to pay for parking in Tulum. You could literally park on the side of the road anywhere. It's free. And then we got to the little private area and there was no umbrellas or chairs available until later on but it turned out to be worth it because the snorkeling was amazing i saw sea turtles and i saw stingrays they were so close i was literally like bubbling in the water like ah with trying to touch it which probably was not the best idea but i was so excited that i just wanted to grab the turtle and the water was so clear it was a really good time the boat ride was nice on another morning my friend and i woke up really early because we really wanted to go to this place called matcha mama to get matcha tea and acai bowls it's such a cute place and the girl that works there is so nice and super cute um there's like swings in the front like it's like a little bar ish 
situation and there's swings and she has nice music playing. We really went there for the acai bowls, but I felt so bad for myself and for her because they had no electricity that day and I couldn't get the acai bowls, but I did end up getting a chai matcha latte with almond milk, but it was really, really good and I highly recommend you going to Matcha Mama. So my friend and I really, really were stuck on this acai bowl idea, but we couldn't keep exploring the town because we needed to meet with our other girls. So the next day we went to Raw Love, another super cute place. It's like in the sand. Almost all the restaurants are in the sand, which is awesome. The waiters like don't even wear shoes. But um, they had hammocks and nice music playing, palm trees, really nice staff also. And the acai bowl was amazing. I, I can't remember which one. I, it was like a vanilla acai bowl. It was really, really good. I practically inhaled the whole thing because I was just craving an acai bowl so badly. They have like a raw menu where they have zucchini pad thai and pizzas and desserts and things like that. We didn't get a chance to try the whole menu. Another thing we did was visit the Mayan village in Koba, which is about an hour and maybe 30 minutes outside of Tulum. And we rented out bikes and drove through the Mayan village or rode through the Mayan village. And then we were able to climb one of the ruins, which was pretty scary because it was really steep. On the way up was a little bit scarier for me just because I had my back turned and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like topple over. On the way down, you had to like scoot down like on your butt because it was that steep. Super fun, can cross it off my bucket list. It was very high and the view was amazing. Then later that day, we went to a cenote, which was, I believe the Tam Kacha Sinote Tam Kacha literally looks like you're going like underground, which is amazing. I mean, I, I guess that's what a Sinote is. It was like a huge pool of water and it had two platforms, one 16 feet and one 32 feet. And my friend and I jumped off the platform twice because we couldn't get the first video. So we did it again. And it was, I was so nervous to jump off. I was like, hesitating and my friends at the bottom like I'm recording hurry up hurry up so I ended up jumping off and it felt like it was never ending like the longest 32 feet of my life but it was an amazing experience and I'd probably do it again another cenote that we visited was the grand cenote and this one was my favorite one the water was crystal clear like you could see the turtles and you you there's two sides so um, there's one side which seems to be a little bit deeper and then you go inside of a cave and then you swim to the other side where it's like crystal clear water. That's where I got all my videos and stuff. But it was so pretty, I did not wanna leave. We got there a little bit late, so I think we were, with, we were only there for like an hour, which is a good amount of time, but it was just so pretty and so chill. So like I said, on our snorkel excursion, we saw the Mayan ruins from the water. And then we also wanted to see the actual facility. I think it was like a $10 fee to get in. And it was like Iguana Central. There was like a hundred iguanas and probably more than a hundred iguanas. And they were so comfortable, like just staring at the camera. They were posing. Seeing the Mayan ruins was an awesome experience. You can't go to Tulum and not see the Mayan ruins. I couldn't, I couldn't leave without seeing the Mayan ruins. That's why I had to see it both from the water and in person. The awesome thing about Tulum is that they're very conscious about their waste. When we went to Raw Love, we asked for a to-go cup and they actually charge you for a to-go cup just to reduce the, the amount of waste. But also, Almost every restaurant that we visited had a vegan or a vegetarian option in which you can tweak around. So they were very conscious about that. But the one place that I could never forget is Charlie's Vegan Tacos. I had corn on the cob and this like plantain with like some sort of like white sauce on it and pumpkin seeds and nachos. Like to die nachos because they were so... I could have been hungry, like really, really hungry, 
or something, but these nachos were so freaking good. And I was the only vegan on my trip, but my friends enjoyed the meal. Or I hope they enjoyed the meal. I hope they didn't lie to me, but no, they didn't leave anything on their plate. So I'm, I'm assuming that their meal was really, really good. So if you're vegan or not vegan, I want to explore check out charlie's vegan tacos well my video has come to an end thank you guys so much for tuning in i really hope that you guys got a glimpse of what tulum is like and i hope that you guys get a chance to visit tulum if you do let me know how it goes for you through instagram or on here make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel but yeah i'll see you guys next time